Hey everyone, Ryzen. And Les. And uh, I just dropped 70 dollars on Pinnacle Studio 17, so if the audio still freaking crashes on me, I don't know, I'll, I'll be very angry, I guess. I, I have a way around it if that happens, but that would still be very irritating. Now, uh, what we're doing on this episode is Den Shop. And uh, it's hard to explain Den Shop because it's weird. Uh, essentially, the search points each give different items, uh, either rank 1 through 5, depending on which. Well, at random. But if you, again, if, you know, uh, you have, Natalia has titles uh, that give uh, different rank items at 80% of the time. So you can sort of almost guarantee what you want to get. For, to hand into Den. Uh, that's for rank 5 items, uh, rank 4, rank 3, and rank 2. And there's no way to get rank 1 items, so rank 1 items are going to be right? They're the most common anyway, so you would just unequip those titles. So well, there's three items that I want to pick up now. Uh, the big one is the Elven Bow, but I also want to pick up a couple of Ultimate Armor at this point in the game. And uh, essentially the way Den Shot works is you get those search point items and then you hand them in and each item gives a certain amount of points to different categories so for example one item that you get for search point might give a point to armor another one might give a point to swords and when you get a certain number of points it'll rank up to the next level and I think there's four rank yeah there's four ranks and it's really complicated and Totally not worth your time for the most part, outside of getting very few items. It takes forever. And you can't directly tell what item is what outside of how much it costs, how much gold you can give then. And the game doesn't tell you this in-game, you have to look up at a guide, so... Essentially what I want to do, and if you just follow along with me, you'll, you'll be fine. You want to go to Search Point 9 with the Adventurous Princess title equipped. And uh, search point 1 and 13. And then equip the Labyrinth Princess title, go to search point 11, search point 15. And then equip uh, the Star of Malkuth title, go to search point 17. Then search point 5, and search point 4. You can just teleport there. And then search point 18. Uh, search point 18 is going to give you a message about the thunderstorm there. Totally irrelevant, ignore it. You can still land after it pause with you for a second. And then you want to equip uh, the uh, the Curious Princess title and go to search point 2, search point 6, search point 3, search point 7, and then search point 16. And then you're going to drop off at Kessedonia, deliver them, and then you repeat until you get enough points. Uh, you do want to make sure that you keep one Highland Ruby, an Aqua Sapphire, and a Phone Stone Fragment, because certain items require... I think certain, the way it works is, to, in order to actually level up a rank, you have to hand in those items, and some special items require you to hand in one of those. I don't know, it's really complicated, so that's what I recommend doing. Then shop is a pain in the ass, but oh well. So I'll go ahead and get those items. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what items. I don't have it memorized, but if you just do what I said, that that works. So I'll go ahead and show on screen. I guess one trip. I think it'll take two trips, and you got to enter Casadonia or any town really to respawn them, which is kind of nice. Make sure we have Adventure's Princess. I've kind of organized this to be fairly efficient. Not cooking. Stop it. What was I looking for? Titles. Natalia does not need to be the on-screen character. And then you teleport to search point one. Come on, you can say stuff, Liz. I don't have anything to say. You can comment on Den Shop. It's stupid. Yeah, I don't like it either. Like, whose stupid idea was it? I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't be. It wouldn't be so bad if the game would tell you how many points you have towards each. Well, it's also the fact that every category levels up individually, and when you actually make something, all your points reset. So then you gotta do it all over again. No. So since we want two armors... I don't think so. 
We have to do it twice. I don't think so. Yeah, I think so. I don't think so. Uh -huh. This is what makes being a second player very boring. I'm sorry. Now I want to go to search point 11. Equip the Labyrinth Princess title. Keep going. So yeah, we're looking for. Uh, well, we're gonna try and get the Elven Bow. And I think the Solar Guard. And I forget what the other one is. Uh, what search one was I at? Oh no. What search one was that? I think I gotta go to fifteen. Oh, the nice thing is, is that we're going up to level 4 with the categories, and once you get enough points, you don't have to worry about accidentally going up to from rank 3 to rank 4, so you don't need to worry about really so much giving, uh, you know, the wrong item to rank up to a rank that you didn't want to rank up to, if that makes any sense. Like, say you were trying to make a rank 2 item and you accidentally ranked up to rank 3, because you gave the rank up item by mistake and you had enough points yeah well, you said 18 and not 17 no 17 that's what i meant sorry and we gotta equip the star of Malkuth. so that's pretty nice so there are some special ones too that you can just select and you can make them most of these weapons and armor are pretty worthless that that uh din can give you so it's like, what's the point? Uh, the few that are useful. The only reason I'm getting the Elven Bow is because, number one, it's better than any other bow right now. And it actually lets Natalia use her level 2 Mystic Art at some point after we beat the game. And since there's an entire dungeon after we beat the game, I think that's actually worth it. So why not? Her level 2 Mystic Art's actually really good. Four. I'll uh, list the search points in the video description that you're supposed to go to. Oh, the higher rank item. The, uh, the less you can get out of the search point. But they always respawn anyway. This search point is annoying. I tried to avoid it, but... Yeah, because what's going to happen is the game's going to be like, Oh, you're not supposed to be in here. It's going to try and push you out, but it's not going to work. So, you're going to retreat. Oh, I'm sorry. I disobey your rules. Yeah, that amuses me. Seventeen. Well, since we're here, there's actually a couple of interesting enemies here. Mm-hmm. They show up. Oh, well, they'll show up. Remember, these guys... I think, this, I think there's a big guy here that's weak to fire. Oh yeah, there's one of these trees. Yeah, the enemies here have a lot of HP. But, uh, nothing. There's one enemy in particular that yeah, I figure I show off in case, you know, give you something to look at in case you don't necessarily like Den Shop. I hate Den Shop. Thank God this isn't in the other games. Get him, guy! This guy might be weak to fire, I'm not sure. Oh, you can do that? Yeah, you can square. That's all the experience he gave? Come on, there's one particular enemy that's kind of cool. I think he's here. He looks cool, anyway. Let's see if I can show him off. If not, oh well. It's not the end of the world. Oh, there he is! I think there's like a bigger version of this guy around here too, but yeah, just some interesting enemies. But nothing too hard about them. I think these are some of the highest level enemies in the game. And in case you're wondering where this is, this is actually the remnants of Pod, the little town of Tom that was destroyed before the game started. Or whatever. 
Nah, apparently not. Got him. <laughs> Alright, I just figured I'd show up a couple enemies there. Why am I so cold today? I don't know. It was hot downstairs and now it's cold up here. Don't look at oh, me. The window is open here. So okay. Uh oh. Apparently we got another battle that I didn't see. Ah, uh, this guy. Bye bye. Now I think when we get on the Albior, it's also going to do that. I think it's going. Oh no, it does a little spin instead. Excellent. Now I want to go to search point two. I think I go to almost all the search points. So. Now I'm not entirely sure exactly what. Why are you dancing? I'm sorry. Again, I don't know exactly what items you need for which rank ups and which, uh. I assume it's insect wings. It's typically the item you'll be getting the most of these items, so. Well, no, it is. I just, I just don't have it memorized. I just know this works, so. If you cheat, experiment. I experimented myself. I mean, I looked up the basic mechanics behind it and what items are needed, and then I came up with my own paths. Must be scorpion stingers. Because he ate scorpion in China. That's disgusting. She said it. She didn't like it. Well, no kidding. It's a scorpion. She ate it though. They eat weird stuff there. No oh. offense if you're from there, but it's are just... you alienating all my Chinese viewers? No, it's just we don't eat a lot of exotic things like that here in America. How very offensive of you. No, you're, I'm just saying we I don't- I didn't know you had it in you! You just don't eat a lot of- Well, I can't say that because there are- we, Some people eat, like, weird things here. Yeah, like pure broccoli soup. That tastes less like broccoli. Don't make fun of me, okay? My cooking just isn't good. You know, I'm like, what? who in this game can't cook? Natalia. So I cook- I, Well, I see, that's not true, though, because I can cook other things very You can very cook better good. than that. Natalia has to cast heal on a frying pan. That's in a skit. If you keep cooking with her, Tyr tries to teach her how to cook, and it, and Natalia it catches on fire, and Natalia starts casting heal on it. And Tyr's like, I don't think that's gonna work. And yes, yeah, someone pointed out that I was wrong about Tyr's cooking skill in the game. She's quite good, actually. You guys can never let me get away with anything, can you? Nope. Because they're always right. The shop's on the other side, I think. Oh, um, no. It's not my let's Technically, it is now. It's our it's let's play. I didn't do nothing. I just sit here and play along. I didn't do nothing but work. If you say so. Okay. Oh god damn it, it is the other side. Just walk to the other side. What? I said just walk to the other side. I'm going to. You're not you're fine to the other side. It takes less time. Lazy. I am a lazy asshole. You know. As are most men. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, we need the Highland Ruby to make the Elven Bow. To make the Reflex, we need a Phone Stone Fragment. And an Aqua Sapphire for the Solar Guard. Sweet. Those are the things I'm going to be making. The Reflex is Guy's Ultimate Armor, and the uh, the Solar Guard is Natalia's Ultimate Armor. So now I want to... Nice didn't look like a little boy. It's a little girl, actually. Oh. So let's go ahead and hand everything in. Except for one... Uh, Highland Ruby, Aqua Sapphire, and Bone Stone Fragment. I don't know if there's an advantage to handing them in one at a time. I don't think so. I think most items only give you like one or two points. I think one item gives you like three points in a category. I don't know, this is way overly complicated. I don't know what they were thinking with this. Especially since, I mean, you're gonna have to wait till these titles to use it. I can't imagine trying to use this beforehand to try and get, like, really good stuff early on. 
And then by the time you can actually use it with the titles, it's like... Okay, I can get like one or two good things, and then... Not it. How, do you, how can you have an Eye of Thunder? I don't know. So I want to hand in three of those. Instead of all four, same there. Just hand in one of those. Four demo, huh? Ooh, extremely valuable items. What the hell is a sacred tree? Yes, I want to trade. Well, there we go, we traded them in. Uh, oh yeah, we get some money for that. Uh, Yeah, let's just cancel that, because he's going to ask you like to immediately make something, and you don't want to do that. So, I think we're going to need more points, so. so let's see. If I select, make an order. The bow is the easier one to make. Well, you can see we have a whole bunch of new categories. Uh, we're going to be looking for body armor. Why is Anne's got her own category? I think it's dolls. Yeah, we do. We do not have access to make a special item yet, so we're gonna have to go do that again. So off screen, I'm gonna go do that again. I think it'll only take once more. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't take another time after that, but I don't think so. So I'll take care of that. Be right back, and uh, I'll look up what the prices should be for you to know when you're at rank four. Okay, I looked it up. Uh, all the items in question that I'm making right now are special items, and the game will actively have a special option up here instead of, you know, having to go with a level category. Which is nice. So that's why you want to keep uh, one of those three, each well, one of those three items that I take to keep. Whatever they were. Highland Ruby, Aqua Sapphire, and Homestone Fragment. Because you'll require uh, one of each for one of those items. It's different for each one. Yes, I would like to trade. And we still don't have enough, I don't think. No, stop it! God damn it, Den. See if we can make a special bow. We cannot. Can we make a special body armor? So we're going to have to make another run, so yeah, I'll be back. Okay, let's see if uh, this does it. Yes, trade in all the items. Alright, Den. Make a special order! Make a bow! The Elven Bow! Yes, take it. You don't have to pay for it either. How fast is the delivery service here? Instantaneous. Does he have Amazon Prime? Yes, he does. Oh. So yeah, that's the Elven Bow. I thought it was funny. Holy uh, Quaquado. Yeah, it's the Catalyst Weapon. So yeah, 700 attack parts, a little better, uh, but more importantly, it will allow her to use her level 2 Mystic Guard, once we beat the game, anyway. But for now, it's just flat out better, but I think we can still make another special order! The Solar Guard! Uh, the other one didn't show up because we actually don't have enough points for it, uh, but the other one's the Reflex, that requires a little points. But unfortunately, when we do this, the Body Armor category is going to reset to zero. So I'm going to have to go back and, and do this again. But I have a better path for armor. Yes, give me the... Uh... I think... Yeah, we can make an ultimate armor for Anis right now. You know, Amazon Prime isn't that fast. Yeah, I know. Unless you're watching it's instant videos. Well, I don't know. They're going to have drones dropping shit out of the sky. Wait, what? Oh, I forgot about this. Steal our food. Oh yeah, this is the uh, the Laman title. I get to show you this after all, huh? I forget how this is. Uh, you have to do. I think you just have to make a rank three or better item, and then this happens. <laughs> what the hell? Oh. 
Uh oh. Uh-oh. <sighs> Something like that. Yay, we get another useless title! <laughs> what does that mean? It, I don't know. Okay. I guess there's nothing illegal going on here! Nope. Comments. Not at all. Ah! <laughs> I don't know what she's doing that's illegal. Who knows? Okay. Why are you going back in? Because I want to get my freaking solar guard! She didn't give it to me! Now we get the solar guard! Which is... Well, Tyr can equip it. Oh no, she can equip it! I guess... Oh, that's right, it's unique to Natalia. I'm thinking of Tears Ultimate Armor, which Natalia can inexplicably equip, but anyway, it's uh well it's a little better. 63 to 75. And that is the last armor in the game for her. It also resists light elemental attacks, so it's pretty nice. Not bad. Not fantastic, but it's okay. So now go we on. want to go on, go on. Make get, more get, get darn items. More um <laughs> uh we want to make the reflex next, and for the reflex, we need a phone stone fragment, so that's the only item you'll need to keep one of. So, for armor, we want to explicitly start by equipping the Adventurous Princess title. I'm an Adventurous Princess. <laughs> Sounds really bad. So what? Go to zero point two. Heck yes, I'll be that for home. An adventurous princess. I'll be, uh, what's her name? Princess fucking asshole Peach. Who always is getting mugged and stuff. Okay. And captured. <laughs> if you want to. I'm never dressing up. I need to wear a wig because I don't have blonde hair. <laughs> so search point two, search point six. What other princesses get kidnapped all the time? Daisy. Who's Daisy? The other princess. From what? Maria. I don't know who that is. She was the, the predecessor to Peach. I only know Peach. I don't know, Peach is more recent than Spot. There's actually Daisy, she was the one that was kidnapped in uh, the original Donkey Kong game. You know, with the tripping over the barrels. I only played Donkey Kong once um, at my cousin's house. They had a... Search for 8? I don't know what they had, it was a something Nintendo. I don't know if it was an NES or what it was. They had something. Maybe it was a super, a super what? What was, what was the the thing? The N sixty four. That's what they had. Okay. That would have been out in the nineties, right? Yeah. Okay, that's what they had. Search point nine. Hey, it's the Oasis. Yeah. And now we can go on to equip Labyrinth Princess. Labyrinth? Not Labyrinth. 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 Like it's a like, maze. It's like that movie, Labyrinth. It's a movie. TV movie, I think. Yeah, it was okay. There was a labyrinth in the Harry Potter movie, which they didn't put in the fourth movie. Well, they did, but they butchered it. They did a terrible job. There was supposed to be a Sphinx and all sorts of creatures in it, but no. Okay. They just made the thing be a monster. It was really lame. The Basilisk? No, that was the second movie. I don't God. know. Star the fourth Mark movie, when they, had, when, they, when they had the, the Triwizard Tournament. The maze was this, like this huge, what, 15? this huge thing in the in the books, and then they just butchered it. There, there's a lot of stuff they left out that kind of aggravated me. I'm sorry. You should you should like, write a I'll, formal petition. Because I'm gonna write one for Warner Brothers after it's been years since all the movies have been out. You should demand that they remake them all. I don't think they'll ever do that. Six point four. Oh, believe me, they will eventually. Cha-ching! No one can, no one can be serious black like Gary Oldman was. He played a great serious black. I'm amazed they didn't like try to get another Batman movie. Well, they have another one coming out. I know, but that's a reboot. I'm surprised that they didn't. Oh, a fourth Batman. Yeah, I'm surprised. That they I don't didn't. think for what's his face. I know no one didn't want to do it, but I'm still surprised that they didn't try to. Well, they probably did. He probably just said no. Because they made a shit ton of money off of those. They like that. It's probably one of the best trilogies in the long time. Oh, it's awesome, yeah. And you can get them for super cheap. That's why I got them on Blu-ray. 
most trilogies, usually you get like the first movie's really good, second movie's and okay, then the third and then the sucks. third movie's shit. But that had three like Home that Alone, were awesome. for example. Home Alone was the first one was great. The second one was okay. The third one, the third one was terrible. And then there's another one that's just ridiculously, just disgraceful. They just milked it. That's all. What they did is they just repeated the same movie. No, it's disgraceful. Curious Princess title. Choo-choo. Why were there two trains going by so quickly? One was going to the train station. The other one was going the opposite direction. Hopefully they didn't smack into each other. There's two. Tr there's yes, there's two I know. Tracks. I was joking, honey. All right, now we gotta hand those. Up. Oh, we're going. We'll be in May. Go on the love train. I'll be going on the train in May. I'm going to be. Or is that a love shack? Do you want me to go on the wrong side again? All right, Din. We got a warrant for your arrest. Now give me my freaking reflex. Is that it? Hell no! I gotta do that at least two more times. I'm not gonna have enough points to get a reflex. It takes a lot of points. It takes about 45 minutes to get all this stuff all together. Yeah, I take an hour tops. But I think it's worth it. Hey, it's a phone sound fragment, isn't it? Right? For a reflex? God damn it. That's what you just said. I know, but I want to double check. Ah, screw and it. to make the reflex, you need a phone stone fragment. I okay. see it in your okay. notes. Yes, I know. I was looking for that. Thank you, honey. No. No, let's not do that. I highly, highly doubt that was enough. Nope. Actually, it would have just said a special order on the front there. So, yeah. Well, I'll, uh, I'll do this again. See if I got enough points. I'll, I'll just do it till I have enough points. Just follow that path. And again, I'll put that in the video description. Okay, I'm trading in my items for a third time, and uh, that should do it. Special item, and crap. I must have gotten really unlucky. I'll be back. Okay, after a fourth trip that I usually don't have to make, let's see if that did it. Alright, come on, Dan. Don't make me do this again. Thank you. There we go. We want to make a- Oh god, I almost just hit the solar guard. I want the reflex. Oh wait, I wouldn't have mattered. I didn't have the item. So we need a phone stone fragment. So let's go ahead and give him that. He's got guns, bitches. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shit yeah, we got a reflex. That is, uh, I think Luke can equip that. No, he cannot. This guy's unique armor. Okay. But yeah, um, the reflex has as much uh, armor, as much physical defense as the golden armor, which apparently is 90, but it has 15 phonic defense as well, which apparently so does the mithril take. But yeah, it's the ultimate armor in the game for guys, so not bad, not bad. So, uh, yeah. No. Is that it for today? That's it for this episode. I didn't say anything about it being it for today. We're going to Mount Rainier. Hey, we're advancing the plot now. Finally. And we're going to Mount Roniel. The, the the real Mount Roniel. Not not those fake real other alternate entrances. Oh, and uh, we could make Anis' ultimate armor, but I'm not going to, don't you? Considering we just did that, what, 15 <clears throat> times? No, I, it did take about an hour this time to get all that stuff, maybe even a little bit longer, because I got a, a little cheated on that one time. I'm thinking one less trip than that, but that's okay. Oh. So we're going to uh, Mount Romeo, and that's where we're going to begin the next episode. And we may as well preemptively equip a Flamberge. Why not? A lot of enemies are weak to fire. Where's the real mountain? Right here. It teleports you there when you select it. So let's save up so we don't have to do that again. Oh god, I don't want to do that again. But yeah, uh, Anis, we're actually going to find other upgrades for her in the not too distant future, so might as well take advantage of those first before going for her ultimate armor. And uh, 
Everything else there is pretty worthless, except for a couple of accessories. There is a couple of capacity cars, but I don't think they're worth going for. So anyway, this is uh, Ryzen and Liz, my beautiful fiance. Signing off. Thanks for watching. Bye.